Hi family, how y'all doing? Hello, welcome to Breaking Free with Coach Lizzie. I am your certified professional life coach. Guys, I have another video for you all today. But first, I want to welcome all of my old and my new subscribers. God bless each and every last one of you guys. You know I love you. You know I am working on thriving as I am. I'm hoping that you all are doing the same. I know, again, this is a hard journey for some of you all, but God is in control. God is not going to allow these people, allow these demons to overtake his children. I promise you that. You just make sure that you stay focused, that you keep loving yourself, keep thriving, keep moving forward, keep being your authentic self. I'm not going to be long today, but I just want to remind you guys, if you all want coaching, please email me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com, or you can go to my website at www.breakingfreenpd.com. You can also send a donation. Uh, my information is in the description box down below. You will have my PayPal and Cash App information. All donations are welcome. God is so good, everyone, and you know that I'm going to bring you some content. I hope you all have enjoyed my last video. I know it has been a while since I posted, but I am getting back on the scene. I have to take some time out to help other people and to minister to other people. But I love you guys. You all are my family, and I would not be where I am today without you guys. And so this video I want to share with you all today, you all know Coach Lizzie is something else. But you know what? I have got to keep up my energy. I have got to keep the how we're going. I have got to keep being the boss woman that I am. And so for my kings, you need to be that boss man. For my queens, you need to be that boss woman that you need to be. But we're talking about that loving, kind, thriving, empathic, Christian type of king and queen. You all just got to keep moving and keep trusting God. So, okay, everyone, this video I got for you all today, I want to share today. My topic is the thirsty narcissist, the thirsty narcissist. Now, you all got to remember now when I'm talking about these narcs, I'm talking about male and female narcs, whoever that narc is in your life, whether that's a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor, a spouse, a girlfriend and boyfriend, it all fits the bill. So wherever you are at in your journey and uh, breaking free from this nar narcissist, wherever you fit in, then you take it. OK, well, these people are so thirsty. When I say thirsty, I'm thinking they've been drinking up everything. OK, they've been drinking blood. You know, they've been drinking liquor. They've been drinking with Kool-Aid. They just been drinking water, everything they can get. But these people are so thirsty. And what I mean by that, and I know some of you all know what thirsty mean, okay? But these people are so thirsty that they are willing to do anything they need to do to get a thrill. Anything they need to do to get supply. These people are so thirsty for supply. They're thirsty for admiration. They are thirsty for attention. They are thirsty for being first. They are thirsty uh to, to, to just take everything that they possibly can get, whether it's from you, your family members, your neighbors, their family members, your friends, even your neighbors, their bosses, your boss. These people are so thirsty that you would think that they will be on full, but they never are. It's like they drink everything that they possibly can get. They are a bucket with a hole in the bottom. And that's why come they are never full. They are never satisfied. They are never nurtured because they are a big bucket with a hole in the bottom. So no, much, no matter how much they drink, no matter how much energy they steal from other people, no matter how much identities that they steal from other people, they can have everything in the world. They can have the best car. They can have the best house. They can even have the best supply. And it's never enough. These people are so thirsty. They even while they're with the new supply, they are still looking over the fence at somebody else's stuff. They are still trying to figure out how they can get more supply. They are still trying to figure out how they can continue to destroy you or to make you look bad. They are still trying to figure out how they can get more energy, how they can get more power. These people are thirsty. They are never full. And so I want you to remember that no matter how good you were to that narcissist, no matter how much you put in the relationship, the marriage, financially, 
physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, all your energy, sexually, no matter what you put in for these people, this it is never enough. They are so thirsty. You have to remember that you are trying to fill something that will never be filled. You are trying to fill up a bucket that will never be filled. These people are so empty. They're so jealous. They're so envious. And they're always trying to be in competition with you. They're always trying to be in competition with other people around them. They are so jealous. They never have enough. So you have to remember that you cannot trust these people. They are so thirsty for whatever they can get. They even steal their children's identity. They'll even steal their children's attention. They don't like to see their children getting too much attention. And that's even from you. They don't want to see anybody around them getting more attention attention than them. Even on the job, they get jealous. They will sabotage you. They will talk about you bad with the boss. They will try to make you look bad because they don't like the attention that you're getting. They are very thirsty people and they will never ever be filled. So while you're thinking about going back to the narcissist, for those that you're thinking that you can go back, for those that are thinking that it's going to work with the narcissist this time, honey, you are fooling yourself. These people will never be satisfied. They are going to always be thirsty. They can marry you. They can have children with you. They can buy homes with you. They can post everything on social media. They can even make you feel like you're on top of the world because you've been love bombed. You will still never be enough for the narcissist ever. I don't care how well you dress. I don't care how well you cook. I don't care how well you are in the bedroom. I don't care how much money you pouring out. I don't care how much liquor you pouring out. I don't care how much gospel you pouring out for these people. It is never going to be enough. You can never fill a bucket that can never be filled. The narcissist is like a bucket. They are empty. There's nothing there. They have nothing to offer you because they are in the energy draining business. These people are energy vampires. They will suck you dry. They will suck you for everything that you have. And then when the relationship is over, after the discard, after the divorce, after everything has been taken from you, you're going to wonder why you still feel empty after all these years of being with someone. Why? Because they never loved you. Why? Because they don't love themselves. And why? They looked at you as an opponent instead of a spouse. They looked at you as an opponent instead of a girlfriend or boyfriend or fiance. They looked at you as an opponent instead of looking at you as their son or their daughter or their neighbor or their friend or a co-worker. You are going to always be in competition with the narcissist. Not that you are trying to be in a competition with them, but because that's who they are. These people don't like other people that are doing better than them, living better than them, looking better than them, thriving better than them, have a better spouse, better home, better car, occupation. They will pretend that they like you. They will pretend that they're close to you and they care about you and they're celebrating you. It's all a lie. These people are thirsty. They will never be filled. All the Coca-Cola in the world can't fill them up. All the Sprite, all the alcohol, all the wine and spirits and beer, none of it would ever fill them up. They can have the best looking wife, the best looking husband, the house, and the whole nine. Coach Liz is here to tell you today, these people are so thirsty that they will never be filled. So you have to take what you have left and move on because it would never be enough for them. I don't care if they love bomb you. I don't care if they try to hoover you and want you to come back to make you think that everything is going to be better and they're going to do better. It's all a lie. They want to drain you. They want to deplete you of everything that you have. They want to leave you broken, distressed, malnourished. They want to leave you in a position where they figure you will never heal. These people wish that you will commit suicide. They wish that you will go away because you are too much for them. When you are around and when you show up, it makes the narcissist look bad. It makes them feel bad. They don't like talking to you. They don't like seeing you because it reminds them of the horrible things that they did to you. You are the prize, honey. Always will be. These thirsty vampires, these thirsty manipulators and gaslighters and slanderers and mockers and identity thieves will never be filled. These people are thirsty and will be thirsty 
to the day of Jesus Christ. You have to remember that these people are not like you and me. These people, father is the devil. Our father is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And whether you are religious or not, whether you are a Christian or not, whether you believe me in this video or not, it really doesn't matter. Because this video is for those that allow it to resonate with them. Some of you all can understand where I'm coming from and some of you all might not. And that's okay. I don't expect you to agree with all of my content. I don't even expect you to like it. But I pray that you do. I pray that it adds to your life and it adds value to you. I pray that when you look at these videos and listen to these videos that you can find yourself somewhere in these videos where you can find healing. And where you can thrive and where you can live and understand that it was never your fault. That you were used and abused and manipulated and used for these people's own selfish gain. I want you to understand that when someone is thirsty, they can never be filled. And you can take thirsty any way that you want it. But for us to the narcissist, these people are an empty bucket. They can never be filled. Continue to love yourself because self-care is the best care. Continue to thrive. Continue to be you. Take your identity back. And again, as Coach Stacey always says, remember that we are the originals. Have a great day.